Hello and welcome to another edition of FYI. I'm Emily on today's show we'll be discussing historical elections in America with our guest Joanna Natalie. But first, here's our clip from Blades of Glory. What the hell are they doing? I'm doing. I can't do the Lotus with a shattered ankle. I'm just a man, for God's sake. We'll switch places. I swear to God, if you cut my head off. They're going for the Iron Lotus. In reverse. God, this is happening all over again. They're picking up speed for something spectacular. Looks like they might be trying something I have never seen done. It is the fabled Iron Lotus. No, don't do it. I was wrong. It's suicide. Great movie. Up next on FYI we have all the news from Daniel, but first I'm joined by Joanna and Natalie, who will be discussing the President-elect Barack Obama's historical election into the White House. Joanna, how do you feel the histori this historical election has affected the rest of the world? I think it's affected them greatly. I think America always had a slight reputation as being a racist country, and it really shows that they're willing to open up. I think it will make America possibly more popular with the rest of the world as well and it sets a good example for other countries to... Yeah, that's quite a deep answer there, first of all. Thank you. Um, and Natalie, do you agree this is the right choice for America? Absolutely, absolutely. I would have been distraught if the Republicans had managed to get in because he wanted to double nuclear production in America. Um, I think Barack Obama is going to be a good you know, president, just considering the amount that he's gone through and the way America's proven America has changed. I don't think mm. he would have got elected though if he wasn't black. Yeah. Just because, like, well, McCain was a lot more experienced. Uh, Barack has very little experience in Senate and such like. So I think if he was white, I doubt he would have got elected just because he's so inexperienced. I doubt he would have even have been running for president. Okay, mm. Joanna, thanks. Um, now, Joanna and Natalie, uh, what one thing do you hope the new president does, not just to improve America, but the rest of the world? Um, I hope that he encourages the rest of the world to be more environmental by setting a good example and because America is so bad for that and I don't know um, do more fair trade and things and just because America is so insular stuff, they, all, yeah. they don't really care about anyone else but maybe it'd be good for him to show that America is not just all about war yeah. speaking on the war I think he should consider pulling out of Iraq I mean, yeah. the amount of troops that have been lost and the amount of times George Bush said that they was going to bring men home and denied it. So I think Barack Obama could prove himself even more popular by uh, maybe halving the number that are currently stationed yeah. there. Definitely. I mean, the whole Iraq thing probably was what swayed it. Yeah. But, yep. Yeah. Well, thanks, Joanna and Natalie. Now it's time for all today's top stories with our news presenter, Daniel. Thanks, Emily. Today's top stories. Glasgow has made it into a list of 10 top world cities compiled by the travel guide company Lonely Planet. Scotland's largest city was the only UK entry on the list, which appears in the firm's Best in Travel 2009 publication. The guide states, forget castles, kilts, bagpipes and tartan. You come for the cocktails, cuisine and designer chic. Defining experiences include cruising the Clyde by powerboat and adding your voice to the Habden roar. Lonely Planet travel editor Tom Hall said, The time has come for Lonely Planet to let one of its worst kept secrets out. Glasgow's got everything. We're delighted to highlight such a fun, stylish city. The remains of an Ice Age rhinoceros have been unearthed by a five-year-old girl at Gloucestershire Water Park. Emil Faubert found the fossilised carcass at the Coast World Water Park near Sincester during a fossil hunt. Emilia and her father, James 33, from Busage near Strow, dug up the atlas 
vertebra of the whale rhino, which roamed the area about 50,000 years ago. Emilio was among the group of fossil hunters searching for a freshly excavated gravel pit at the park on the 26th of October. Pop star Nelly Furtado secretly married her boyfriend earlier this year. The singer has revealed on Canadian TV. Furtado, 29, married sound engineer Dimasio Castellan on the 19th of July. The couple have worked together on Furtado's 2006 album, Lis. She told Entertainment Tonight Canada, I love it. I'm happy I'm excited about the future. Furtado shot the fame of the 2000s with her hit single, I'm Like a Bird, and debut album, Whoa Nelly. Furtado and Castellan worked together on Furtado's third album with its songs, Promiscuous Girl and Man Eater. Briefly hits on both sides of the Atlantic. That's all from me in the news. Back to you, Emily. Well, thanks. That's all we have time for today, but join us again tomorrow when we will be joined by Quentin Tarantino. We'll be talking about his new forthcoming film, Santa's Gonna Get You. All that and more on tomorrow's FYI. Good night.